Right, we're working on a garage today where we've got mucho bunches of termites that have moved in. Well, we finally got rid of the termites. But you can see how they've... You can see how they've worked up some of these 2 by 4s Some of them went up quite a ways. This one we replaced here. This one we replaced here. They'd gotten all the way up into the top of the uh, two by. So anyway, what we've done, we put a two by twelve down here, and it's it's treated, sitting on concrete, because what it is is that the concrete is below the concrete is below the the uh, dirt level which means water is getting in there and setting in there for a while you can see barely you can see that two by four right there sitting at grade level and below so we had to luckily it's it's treated so we don't have to worry about it but we got two two by twelves treated and we cut everything off you know the amount we needed to where all the studs to where all the studs are now sitting on top of that 2x12 so we don't have to worry about the termites climbing up in there anymore because I'm not saying they won't climb up that 2x12 but they don't particularly like the taste of it to get started on this thing what we did we got us a bunch we got us a jack and we jacked up and we've got a See a two by four up against all the the rafter tails, and then as we jacked it up, then we got us a two by ten down on the ground down here, and then we put all our studs to hold everything up so that we could get this, so that we could get these two two by twelves in there. Of course, on the inside, what we're going to do is we're going to get some angle brackets, bolt them to the concrete, and then bolt them to the to the two by twelves, so that they won't they won't be moving around on us. I'll show you that later. We haven't gotten that far, but we are getting there. But now we're finishing up. We got us some metal straps on all our studs all the way down. We can get ready to put our OSB so that we can get ready to put our siding up. Well, we got the greatest tool in the world to put in a nail oh, yeah. into some really, really hard lumber. I would still be hammering. You'd still be hammering, hammering that's right. And pulling. Come on, go in there. Yeah, I did. How about that? You got a bite. Think that the end down there will hold one? Yeah, we need to get one down there at the end too. All right. So yeah. my uh, my uh, former roommate, whose father owns East Texas Fasteners, he's worth fifty million dollars. Now he reinvented the way fasteners work. Okay, we've got everything done. And we've got Jameson siding over here up about three feet off the ground. That way when water splashes up on the siding, it won't be bothered by anything. We just have to make sure we keep it painted. Well, we'll move on to the <clears throat> to the other half of the garage next week. No, excuse me, yeah, next week get it done. We've got not as much termite damage over here.